the idea is there's things that make you feel like you're on the inside of something, and it, there's, there's lots of things that make us feel like we're on the outside of something. A lot of what happens with trust is we want to feel like we have a, a, a re relationship with people, and we want to have some kind of sense of uh, that they're telling us what they feel and that it's going to be the truth or whatnot. Well, it turns out that the web is an interesting place to generate trust and move trust around. It turns out that a lot of what we try to do face-to-face -face with handshakes in business uh, does occur on the web if you use the web in the right way. What came before in the web was the one-way web. Web 1.0 is nothing but brochureware. And come to my site. My site is the place you need to be. If you're not on my site, you're not doing it. Web 2.0 is the two-way web, the participatory web, the it's-not-all-about-me web. The only thing is a lot of us didn't really make that turn. We, we kept it, it's all about me. Marketing is always, it's all about me. You know, come look at my dumb product. Come look at my dumb thing. Come buy my stupid thing, right? It's not about you. It never was, never will be about you. It is about what equips the person who chooses to do the, something with the product to do that thing. Lego. You never use Lego because you hope to, to, to further the needs of the company. You want to make cool toys. People who use Twitter to broadcast are not using Twitter. They're pushing their message down another pipe. No one cares about you. No one cares about your dumb product. They're looking for engagement. So right off the bat, let's just get that out there. If you're going to be a trust agent, if you're going to use these new social media tools, then use them like a human being. Connect with people. Talk back and forth. I searched YouTube for book trailer. Go look and see what people are doing. There's some great stuff. I'd say the guy who pioneered this was Scott Sigler. Scott's a friend of ours. He's in the podcasting world. He uh, got his book deals by making serial audio podcasts of books that he wanted to release that nobody wanted to buy. And then he showed his numbers and everyone wanted to buy them. Flip video. It is uh, called the simplest video camera in the world to use. There's a power button on the side. There's a big red button. And you push it like that and say, hi. Popcorn. Right. <laughs> and that's it. You record it. But the, the magic is... Right there, a little USB doodah, you stick it in the side, there's software built right into it, it shoots it up to the web. If you're doing face-to-face -face events of any kind and you're not bothering to use a flip video to capture some fun there, you're missing an opportunity to spread what you did out in the physical space, up onto the web where it can be distributed and seen more. So what Julian and I call putting it on paper. It's the idea of putting the information out there in front of you in a way that it's shareable, in a way that people can get it back and forth and you can get more than one piece of value out of it. So shortly after I put the video up, like all her friends pinged her on Twitter and said, hey, Brogan reviewed your book. She didn't know who I was. Why should she? I'm a reader. But now she talks to me. So all these people, all the writers who have just a moment, because by the way, you thought it was hard to get them to blog. It's not that hard to get them to tweet. Less characters. You could be messier. You know, I could think of a, you know, th there could be some famous past tweeters that would be funny, like E.E. E. Cummings. <laughs> but, hey, I can only make that joke here. You know, <laughs> you know so thank you. Um, but, but there's relationship building, and this is trust agent stuff, too. It's, it's, it's recognizing. It's, it's being one of us. And because she's on Twitter... She's one of us. She's doing what we do. Listening, if you go to search.twitter.com, if you, if you haven't yet figured out why you should do something on Twitter, start at search, not the talking part. Everyone starts you down that you should talk about your cat. Uh, no one, no. Um, <laughs> a user-driven media where readers and sometimes authors congregate. Congregate is and get together around the property. That is not how we think about books. But it should be, because that's how we consume books. We just don't have the mechanics to do it right now. So we're getting closer. There are the mechanics. You just have to actually employ them. Do they drive sales? Hell yeah. What's the difference between reading a book by yourself, the sound of one hand clapping, and an audience? A whole community of people. What's the difference between an audience and a community? An audience has all their chairs facing the same way. Our best advice on how to do that, how to get into all these networks and be somebody there, isn't just to shake hands and switch cards. That's the last of it all. Be helpful, be humble, and share. The more times you can be at the elbow of somebody's deal, the more times that you can be the person who puts people together, that always is magic. It always comes back positive. Don't ask for anything. Never ask for anything. Just give, 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 give. It's amazing how it comes back. If you can't swallow that one, you just can't do this game. This is, you can't be an Agent Zero.